there this is Mary Humphrey of Mary Humphrey coaching welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel today we're talking about narcissists that bring up the past and why they do it when they do it and how common it is that they do it they either bring up things from the past before your relationship with the narcissist or they bring up things that have happened within your relationship when it happens when this past is brought up, it can be shocking, it can be hurtful, and it can feel like it stops you dead in your tracks. Like a snake in the grass. You don't see it sometimes, but it comes at you. And it can bite. And it comes when you least expect it. You're typically not watching for it. So why does this happen? Why does the narcissist bring up the past? There's numerous reasons why they do this, but we're going to go over some examples. You're having a general conversation and they bring up something that happened prior to your relationship. This something they bring up can feel as if it's set out to belittle you. It feels hurtful. You might wonder why is he or she bringing it up right now? What does this have to do with our relationship, you ask? What does it have to do with today? Am I damaged in the narcissist's eyes? Will they ever look at me beyond this thing that happened in my past? In another example, you're talking about something in the present with the narcissist. Typically something that you're trying to be diplomatic about and perhaps work through and you've thought long and hard maybe on eggshells how do I approach him or her about this in most healthy relationships you can sit down and have a talk and you can make amends and you can work things out but with the narcissists they don't take responsibility for themselves or their part in the relationship so they resort to bringing up something from the past so in my experience this could be a past argument, a mistake that you made, something hurtful that happened that involved you. And it could even be hurtful things that happened from other relationships that you have, maybe with your parents, maybe with your children, maybe in the workplace, your ex, friends, or family, but the narcissist uses this as a tool and out of context. The key thing is the surprise of the narcissist bringing up the past. They weaponize your past experiences. And this helps them to excuse their current behaviors. They will never let go of your past. They will never stop going into their memory banks, their reserve of weapons to use in their present situation. Bringing up the past manifests as gaslighting, control, guilt tripping, blame shifting, or baiting. This is the tactic that the narcissist uses to get you where they want you to be in the very moment. They know your vulnerabilities and they target them, deflecting the attention away from themselves and redirects the blaming attention to you. Now I want to remind you real quickly that I am not here to run narcissists down. I'm just here to be factual with explanations and with examples so that I can help people involved with narcissism identify what they're dealing with so they don't spend years dealing with this and wonder later even, what was that? That's my goal with my life coaching is to help you get beyond that, but also to see what you were dealing with. When the narcissist uses our past against us, it can feel a bit crazy. And we often wonder, how could he or she do this to me? I don't understand, this is so weird. He or she is right, that thing happened. I wish it had never happened. But here it is brought to the surface again. I thought we were through this. I thought I was through this. I thought it was buried in my past. I'm not trying to hide it, but let bygones be bygones, right? Sometimes we think we're forgiven. Sometimes we think that we've healed from something. Sometimes we've managed these situations the best that we can, and we've moved on. But then the narcissist brings it right back up 
and purposely knows how to make it hurt. It can sting, it can stop us in the tracks, and it can feel disabling. By knowing that this is a common narcissistic trait to bring up the past as a, to use as a weapon, you can stop second-guessing your sanity and your worthiness. This is not about you at all. This, in the narcissist's eyes, is about raising their own self up through deliberately hurting you. Remember these key things. They're trying to gaslight you. They're trying to manipulate you. They're trying to change your reality. And this is how they do it, by bringing up the past. They're trying to control you. They want you to feel that you're in the wrong and that you're the one that needs to adjust and prioritize their needs. They're trying to guilt trip you. So I'm going to use an example of some behaviors that can lead up to the narcissist bringing up the past. There was a woman that had a brother and a father that she basically tolerated. She um, set boundaries and it's this brother was a perpetual liar and the father would say things that were hurtful. Because she didn't live with these people and because she only saw them periodically, she was able to, to um, set up the boundary in her mind that she that their behaviors didn't hurt her as badly as, say, her spouse would had they done and said the same thing. So they were in a different category. She didn't live with them. She didn't expect them to have her back. She didn't expect them to have total empathy for her. So when she would very diplomatically sit down and have a conversation with her spouse, he would said he would resort to her family. Look what they've done. Look at the way they hurt you in the past. And yes, she would sit down occasionally and cry and share with the narcissist not thinking at the time that her hurt would be used as fuel, it would be used as a weapon later. And um, he definitely would bring up the past. He held that information in his treasure box, what he learned about her family, to use on her later. She would occasionally feel a little guilty because he was guilt tripping her. She'd have to think real in depth. Am I treating him wrong compared to my brother and my father who I don't see all that often? She didn't have the same boundaries and the same standards for that relationship. Relationships are all on different levels. We don't expect the same thing out of our brother that we only see once or twice a year as we do our spouse. She wanted the narcissist to take some responsibility for their behavior. Instead, he shifted the blame over to her. He would bring up the most hurtful memories and the tools and say, how can you accept that? But you're blaming me for this. And just shift totally away from his responsibility. And it would take a while for her to get beyond that hurt and that shock. But she did it. So the narcissist will also try to bait you into argument by bringing it to the past. And why in the world would they do this? It's not because they love to argue. It's because they want to see you flub up. They want to see you have behavior that they can point their finger at and say, look at you. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Look at you. People know you're crazy. Look at you. You're sitting here saying that I shouldn't have done this, I shouldn't have cheated, I shouldn't have... Whatever it was. But look at your behavior. Well, no wonder this happened. It's your fault. You're the crazy one. It's gaslighting. They bait you into the argument so that you're the one that they can blame in the moment for how you're behaving. So what happens when you deal with this narcissistic bringing up the past for a very long time did you get in the mode of expecting the narcissist to bring up the past and later even if you're in a new relationship and i'm not saying jump out of one get into the other give it at least a year but later if you're in a new relationship you may even find yourself thinking 
oh boy, we're having a serious talk. We're not arguing. But unconsciously, you'll be thinking, are they going to bring the past up? And you start holding your breath. And it's not typical that people do this, of course. You feel yourself dreading the outcome. And then, of course, if you're in a relationship with a person that really has empathy and really does care about you, they're not going to bring up something from the past in that moment. They're going to try to make things better. They're going to work with you so that you can enrich and make your relationship better. It takes time to get beyond the expectation that something, something is going to come back and bite you. And I don't want to sound like a commercial, but coaching can help with this. Coaching can help you change your mindset, set new goals, be an overcomer, get beyond the obstacles to where you can just flow through that conversation without a feeling of dread and afterwards thinking, my goodness, they didn't bring up the past. You can eventually stop expecting to be hurt by, by someone bringing the past up, throwing it, in your, throwing it in your face, and using it as a weapon of destruction. So if you like this content, please remember to hit like and subscribe if you haven't. And there's always someone in need. Please share. Sharing is caring. I hope you have a wonderful day and God bless.